Hi everyone. Today I want to talk about the difference between an attached, a detached, a semi-detached, and zero lot line buildings. I'm George Fontan and I'm an architect in New York. And these are terms that are commonly used in zoning to determine the relationship between two buildings or the relationship between a building and a property line. This is important because uh, depending on which category you are, different codes may apply in different ways. All right, so uh, this is all based on New York City zoning codes. Every, uh, every different jurisdiction may have uh, different rules. So um, an attached building is a building that touches either two property lines or a, uh, is part of a group of buildings, okay? Uh, detached uh, doesn't touch any property lines and does not touch another building. A semi-detached touches one property line and one other building, okay? And a zero lot line uh, touches a property line, but no other building. Okay, I'm gonna run through it. So semi-detached, this is the one that people get most confused about, uh, is always in a pair, okay? Never in a group, all right? Uh, they're attached in the middle on one property line, uh, or it could be two buildings on one, um, one property, but they're, they're attached down the middle and yards on both sides, okay? And none in the middle, all right? Attached, is a group of three or more. If it's a group of three or more, it's always attached. The one at the end is not a semi-detached. That's a misconception. All right, so the one in the middle, it touches two property lines. It's definitely attached. And then this is attached as a group. So these three are all attached. All right, a detached has side yards on both sides. It's not touching anything. It doesn't touch a property line. It's a detached. Attached, it touches two property lines. It doesn't have to touch another building. If it's touching two property lines, it's an attached. All right, a semi-detached, has yards on two sides and connected down the middle, okay? That's the only condition. It's just like that condition where it's gonna be semi-detached. All right, zero lot lines, all right? They're touching a property line on one side, but they touch no other building. That's a zero lot line, okay? A detached, all right, has side yards on both sides. Attached, once again, it's in a group of three, it's attached. Three or more, all of them, okay? Detached, two side yards, and then this one is attached as well. Uh, one is attached because it's touching two property lines. And then this one is attached to the attached. That makes them both attached, okay? A semi-detached is only attached to another semi-detached. It's never attached to anything else, okay? So if you're attached to an attached, you're both attached, okay? It's a little confusing, but that's the way the zoning code writes it. A semi-detached is only connected to another semi-detached, all right? Um, uh, depending on uh, you know, uh, what zoning district you're in, the codes will vary based on certain rules apply to attached, certain rules apply to semi-detached, okay? Um, can you attach to an existing building? Uh, it's gonna depend what zoning you're in. Uh, in. In New York City, it's gonna vary, uh, but in a lot of cases, you can, you know, if you have a zero lot line or, or, or an attached like this, could you attach to that building? In, in a lot of cases, you can. There's generally no rules that say you can't block your neighbor's windows unless you have an easement, um, but certain zoning codes will uh, require a, a side yard, depending what zoning district you're in, so uh, that's important to, to figure out, all right? That was the difference between attached, detached, semi-detached, and zero lot line buildings. Uh, hit like, hit subscribe, leave comments below. Let me know if there are any topics you want us to discuss in the future. Thank you for listening.